honest as a brown man to another brown man. God wasn't kind to us in the dick department, all right? I'm wait, here's not what I'm saying. I'm not saying he shortchanged us, okay? I'm just saying he didn't give us any extra shit. God gave Indian people a lot of things, big dicks, not one of them. I was like, all right, here's what's going to happen, Indians. You're going to be great with computers. Okay. You're going to be able to survive in the worst conditions imaginable. Okay. You're going to be able to leave those conditions, go anywhere in the world, and become successful. Fantastic. Hey, God. Yeah? What about penises? Sorry, buddy. Average. Then he called the black people over. Come here for a minute. I want to talk to you. Listen, um, people are going to be fucking with you for centuries. Here's a little extra dick. Oh, don't worry about it. I took it from the Indians. It's okay. It color matches perfectly. It... <laughs> but I do, I do. I, that, and see, the media put that in our heads too. They made us insecure about the size of our penises. You watch a porno nowadays, you see these guys with these giant hogs on them. These fucking Chernobyl waste <laughs> nuclear reactor dicks on them. Just... You watch that and you see this guy and you're like, oh my God, I'm never going to have a dick like that. You're not supposed to have a dick like that. Animals shouldn't have dicks like that. Then you watch TV late at night, they got all these products, male enhancement pills. and Honey, what's that? It's a natural male enhancement. Oh, really? For energy? No. Natural male enhancement. Ooh. They make you insecure about the size of your penis. And then women see this and they get caught up in the hype. I've heard chicks, oh my God, I just want to go with a big dick. It's the guys with big dicks. I, I don't know. It's something about a big dick that I just love. I like, I, like, I don't know. I don't even care what he looks like. He's got a big dick. Oh. I'm like, that's because you're a fucking whore. That's why. Your vagina's huge. You know, and instead of giving me a pill to make my dick bigger, here's a cream to tighten you up. So what I'm saying is, as a brown man, with my balls shaved and everything, I can confidently whip out my wiener. I go like this, ta-da! But if you have a big bush down there, you know, you're going to pull it out and she's gonna be like, is that it? You go, no, no, but wait, there's more. <laughs> Ladies, what I'm saying is, you shouldn't get caught up in all that penis size hype. Just don't get caught up in it. Because let me tell you something. You need to start sleeping with us guys with smaller to regular sized penises. Because we put in way more effort. <laughs> Let me tell you something, guys with big dicks are never gonna make love to you properly. You know why? They don't have to. They got a big dick. They just show up. So. I can't believe I did that with my mom in the audience. <laughs> Sorry, mom. I have a theory, all right? I have a theory. I believe that the size of your penis is in direct correlation with how much sex you will have in your life. The smaller your dick, the more you will fuck. Because we got our, our pride is riding on it, you know? Our ego's at stake, you know? You got a small dick? Oh yeah, you think I got a small dick? I'm gonna fuck you, I'm gonna fuck your friends. I'm gonna fuck this stool, I don't care. I'll fuck a stool, I'll fuck a water bottle, I'll fuck everything. We don't care, we're just fucking everything. The smaller your dick, the more you will fuck. You don't believe me? Look at the two largest populations in the world.
Chinese guys started clapping like, yeah, oh, oh hey, wait a minute. Do lay lomo. <sighs> it's funny, I look over at the kid, he's just like, I don't know what's happening anymore. I don't even have balls yet. I don't know how. <laughs> <laughs>